Lock going to challenge Parker, and there's another rejection by Candace Parker. <laughs> she timed that from the time she crossed midcourt. It's endless. 16 Final Fours, 11 championship games, six NCAA championships. Oh, Candace nice. Parker, endless there, the endless accolades, just finding ways. Now Candace Parker and company has to do the same to take control of this game, which is at, really, a lot of people thought it would be a bigger lead, but Parker now. She almost doubled her season average in four games. Candace Parker. She loves that right shoulder. So you've got to sit on it. Now, she's so versatile, she can hurt you different ways. Let's watch now, last shot of the half. It's zoned by Drake. Hornbuckle, the hot hand. And thanks to Candace Parker and her size. Let's see if Poppet can yep. answer the lead. To Candace Parker, great pass by Shannon Bobbitt to number three, Candace Parker. Leading the charge. Back door. Candace Parker. I wonder if Pat Summit said in the locker room, hey, Candace, take over this game. First time since 1977, and that certainly helped. Oh, oh get out of there, <laughs> says Candace Parker. Mercedes Walker, so they're going to put a different body on her. And a sickie. Great pass inside by Parker. Taking over the load left by Sydney Spencer, who's having trouble from long range. Here comes Candace Parker. Anyway, Linda. Candace Parker turns 21 years of age on April 19th. So smooth. The NCAA Women's Basketball Championship presented on ESPN by Orbitz, 9 Eastern. Sydney Spencer is alive. Right up U.S. Highway 129 from Knoxville. Candace. Starting to take over. I'll tell you. Well, they backed it out, won some offense. Oh, Candace. See, that's great execution. Hornbuckle recognized. And she expects Kansas Parker, by the time she leaves Tennessee, to be as good defensively as she is offensively. Yes. Great move right there. Tennessee looking to get that momentum back as the offense continues to go through Candace Parker. Here's the isolation now. Oh, boy. All you need is to get that shoulder by the defender like Parker did. And what better way to measure yourself than take on Tennessee? Candace Parker, Whoa. 28 points she has. And Bobbitt comes down the floor for Tennessee. And Candace Parker showing her skill in the opening minute and a half with her first basket. Now this is his fifth year, and he's done a fantastic job. And he has a great group of seniors that have really won a lot of games in their time. Tough to stop that. Candace Parker on the inside. Roster from the state of Ohio. A great pass to Parker. And what body control. Just too easy. Shot clock inside of 10 for Tennessee. Parker gets the bounce. Also four rebounds to go along with those. Eight points for Parker. Kresge has it poked away. Anasicki ahead to Candace Parker. Kresge trailing. And Parker unable to go for the dunk, so she just lays it in with the offhand. Great pass away from the D. Can Marist make a run before the end of the half? Tough to do if Candace Parker continues to make shots. She's six out of six from the field. See if Oklahoma can take care of the basketball. Foul on Dolman was her first, third on Marist, and another Tennessee basket. Candace Parker, seven of seven, 14 points. That's been the story for Tennessee. Second chance points as Parker gets one and a foul. She's still perfect, eight of eight from the field. Good job by Anasicki to run ahead of the ball to the rim. And Candace Parker with the steal and the layup, and it's 10-2 Tennessee. And Parker putting it on the floor against Easley. And then another great pass by Parker as Hornbuckle finishes, and it's back to an eight-point lead. Are you kidding me? In the regular season meeting with Ole Miss, a game which Tennessee won by 12. And a block by the Lady Falls Parker. And Tennessee's doing a very good job getting back in transition. Oh, Candace Parker just punches it out of there. Her second block already tonight. The national semifinals in Cleveland. Shot clock inside of 10. Great catch by Parker. And the reverse layup is good. Can't do that. That close to the basket with the size at the rim by Tennessee. And Parker on the other end does it again. And Black with a long rebound. Black going to challenge Parker. And there's another rejection by Candace Parker. <laughs> Black, 5-4. Parker, 6-4. No way.
Ole Miss man to man had to get out of the matchup because Carol Ross wasn't seeing enough ball pressure. Candace Parker again just blew by Sean Goff. It's a lot to shoot over with that big zone. Oh, what a spin move by Parker. And on the other side of the hoop gets another one. That's 14 points now against Connecticut last night. This might even be more surprising as Parker gets another block. This makes him a tough matchup for anybody. Parker going to work over Mincy. And Parker now with 16 points. Made that one with a left hand. Yeah, but this is just a thrashing here in date. Tennessee is led throughout, led by 31 in the first half, and now 33 in the second half as Parker does it again. That's good. There's a one versus seven matchup here in Dayton. Candace Parker again, 24 now for her. Beautiful move inside by Little, but she can't finish a little off balance. She just took the shot. Parker back the other way, so smooth. Goes with the left hand and drains it. You can't guard that, folks. That's 6-4 on a rake and take. Parker's got her hands on the rebound to Anna Sicki. Parker wheels in the lane, scooping a bucket. 407 and counting. Parker backs in, reverse under the basket, got it. 48 46. 15 second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Lana into a double team. Lost it. And then Lana commits, or Miller commits the foul. Stolen back now on the floor. Latta trying to draw the foul. That's it. Miller got the last shot, trying to, trying to draw the foul from Parker. And Tennessee with a remarkable comeback, scoring 20 of the last 22 points in the last eight minutes and 18 seconds in this game. And here comes Bobbitt. Well, that could have been an offensive foul on Parker backing down Carson. Really loves that fadeaway jumper. She has six in the first half, the lead back to four. Horn buckle wide open, she passed on the shot. They got it to Parker, double team down low that time. She went for it. They're as solid with the basketball when they've got possession. Parker, great pass. And it dawned on a team with no seniors. Boy, we're playing for a national title. Parker baseline, she's in that close. She's going to score. Another offensive rebound. Parker, some contact, no whistle, and Parker knocks it down. For the seventh time in Pat Summit's exceptional career, Tennessee wins a national championship.